Okay, welcome back. I'm recording two videos in one day. That's uh, something special, but I really wanted to continue and get a look at the new difficulty. Uh, also, this is episode 10, so I feel like we should celebrate. Um, this isn't the longest video series I've ever made, but it's getting pretty close. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'll be starting at Zumini Isle, and we'll be encountering uh, some new levels of difficulty, which will be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we'll get our random Zumini batch. I'm a little sleepy, but I really wanted to record, so I've got a bag of Tropical Punch Pop Rocks uh, candy, which I'm hoping will keep me awake. Also, uh, the little crystals are blue, so they reminded me of Zumbinis. And that's my uh, reward, I think. Not that I need a reward to play this. Okay, all set. So we might get some new messages. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zubinis are glad to finally put foot or other ambulatory device on solid land. Though a peculiar and treacherous land it is. So that was definitely a new message, and I think the music was different too. Uh, and let's check out how the help message has changed. So again, I'm going to try and do a complete journey to the end. Uh, this might be my longest video yet, because uh, I believe uh, difficulty increased for all legs of the journey, but we'll see how it goes. Allergic Cliffs Level 3. Uh, the Allergic Cliffs play by certain rules. Uh, what one cliff accepts the other is allergic to look for the two different features such as red noses and sunglasses that do not cause an allergic reaction so i think the only difference is that before uh it would be two variations of the same feature like red noses and blue noses and now it's just two completely different ones um but hopefully that won't matter too much so let's do our first test and he was not accepted <laughs> Okay, let's try another with orange nose in spring. Nope. So it's either his eyes or his hair that they didn't like. So this one should be okay down here, uh, unless the bottom one is allergic to red noses. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, maybe this one. Oh. So her feet or her hair, he didn't like. Uh, okay, so now I actually have to be a little more careful because I don't want to use up all my guesses. But you see how even on the third difficulty level, uh, we don't have any more guesses than normal. So we can't fool around as much. So uh, the bottom one requires... Uh, well, it doesn't look like springs matter, uh, cause there's a spring on top and bottom. So I'm guessing it was the hair that mattered, uh, cause that's the only thing they all have in common. So theoretically this one should be okay down here. And this one. Okay. So the ones with this hair need to go on the bottom. Uh, and then these two, the only thing they have in common is their orange nose, but this one also has an orange nose, um, which is interesting. So maybe the one on top requires orange noses, except he's allergic to um, that hairstyle. Okay. Uh, so now I don't have much information left about anything else. So he seems to require orange noses because that's the only thing that these two uh, have in common. Unless he's just rejecting all of them with that hair. Hmm. 
All right, let's try to find one that's kind of similar. Nope. So it could be the green nose he didn't like. Because uh, he should be okay with feet, wide eyes, and shaggy hair. So I'm guessing green noses have to go on the bottom. Okay. Or, again, maybe he requires orange noses. Uh, so let's try... Oh. Okay, so now I actually have to sit and look at this because I can't get any more wrong guesses. And this is where you have to plan who you're testing carefully. Uh, okay, so the one on top does not require orange noses. Uh, and the one on the bottom is not allergic to orange noses. So the fact that these all had orange noses up here didn't matter. Um, the one on top does not require any particular hairstyle. Uh, the one on the bottom doesn't seem to have a problem with these two hairstyles. Uh, huh. The one on top is okay with three different eye types. Uh, so far, the only sleepy eyes and sunglasses are on the bottom, but that's only one each, so I don't know if that's a great test. Uh, my only red nose so far is at the bottom. And so far, all um, propellers are at the bottom. So let's try this. Oh, well, I guess I have to start losing some eventually. And those left behind strike out for the nearest haven. Okay. Well, that means I probably won't be able to do a complete journey in this video uh, because now I don't have a complete group uh, anymore. So, oh well, we'll see how this goes. See if I can even get any of them through this first leg. The Zumbini's journey for many days until they arrive at Four Stone Caves. Oh, fiercely defended, I'm afraid. That still doesn't rhyme. I don't know if you could hear the pop box sizzling in my mouth, but they're helping me deal with our defeat so yeah so that one was hard i could not figure out what the pattern was so i probably should have uh, tested it more carefully all right let's see if we can get through this can't let you in okay hmm. thanks for coming so this one is somewhat similar Nope. Oh, I forgot to read the message for this. Okay, uh, Stone Cold Caves Level 3. The Cave Guardians have reaction to certain Zuminis just like the Allergic Clips. What one Guardian likes, the others do not. For example, if the left Guardian accepts Spring Feet, the right Guardian will reject this feature. The same goes for the upper and lower Guardians. Uh, for each pair of guardians, look for two features the guardian accepts or rejects. Try figuring out what the right or left like first, and then the upper or lower. Uh, so I'm not sure if this actually has changed or to what extent it's changed, um, but we'll see. One of the chosen few. Okay, so it seems that eyes and or hair matter because uh, these ended up completely opposite. Um. Uh, so let's try this guy here. Move it, good. So he had the same Hello. eyes and hair, so he was okay. So theoretically, if I had one with a um, tuft hair and sleepy eyes, he'd probably be okay up there. Uh, what else have we got? Um. Nice try. Go on. This way. Uh uh. Okay, so it looks like only the one on the right accepts the uh, tufts, maybe, and only the one on top accepts the Cyclops eyes. 
So let's see if this one will be okay. Because so far the nose doesn't seem to matter. Uh, so this is Cyclops' eyes. Not sure about the hair, though. Let's try here. No! Oh, sorry, pal! Hmm. Oh. Tisk tisk. Mm, okay. Do go in. Hmm, this is the point where I start needing paper to write things down. Um, but I don't want to lose anymore, so let's see if we can figure this out. So, what do we know so far? Um, these two are identical except for their nose color and they ended up in the same cave. So, uh, their nose color doesn't seem to matter uh, this time around. We've got purple noses. Uh, across from each other. We've got orange diagonally across. Uh, there's an orange, so nose color just doesn't seem to matter. Um, I mean, I guess it could be that maybe only the right accepts red noses, but I don't have any more red noses. Um, and there's a mix of colors on both sides, so nose doesn't seem to matter. As for feet, uh, we've got springs and uh, train tracks diagonally across from each other, so those don't seem to matter. Uh, maybe roller skates can only go on the left, but I don't have any more. Uh, eyes do seem to matter. So all the Cyclops' eyes uh, look like they have to go on top. Let's try this one then. Okay. Uh, so then I have wide eyes and sunglasses, uh, and I haven't actually tried either of those yet. So let's see how it goes. Well, why not? What goes up must roll down. You'll do. Don't be shy. Okay, uh, interesting. So wide eyes have to go on the bottom, it looks like. So, so this has wide eyes and the tuft hair, so I'm guessing he goes here. Have a good yep. time. And this one has wide eyes and tuft hair. So it looks like eyes and hair are what matters. Uh, then we have wide eyes, but this hair, uh, so far all the ones on the right are that one hairstyle. So let's try him on the left. Nope. <laughs> Kinda slow. Nope. I'm so sorry. Oh well, you get more guesses, wrong guesses on this one, so it's not as hard, even though I'm not quite sure how it worked out. Uh, so in retrospect, uh, and I'm going to take more time uh, with these because I probably won't be able to do the whole journey. Uh, so uh, for the learning experience, uh, we can see all of the tuft hair is on the right uh, and the flat top is on the right. Uh, all of the shaggy hair and hats are on the left. So that's how hair seems to matter. Uh, so e for each pair of guardians, look for two features uh, that a guardian accepts or rejects. So it looks like this one rejects tuft hair uh, and this one requires or sorry, it's not going to be requires anymore since it'll be an either or. So this one rejects tuft hair. This one accepts tuft hair. This one rejects the flat top. This one accepts the flat top. Uh, it can't be eyes, the wide eyes, because uh, they're on both sides. And it can't be the cyclops, because they're on both sides. Uh, so it looks like that's what's going on here. Um, or it could be the other way around. Like, maybe this one rejects shaggy hair and hats, and this one accepts uh, shaggy hair and hats. Mm -hmm. So it has to have shaggy hair or a hat. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not actually sure, since it's even on both sides. Um, and then for the top and bottom, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so all the cyclopses are on top. Uh, the sleepy eyes on top, the sunglasses are on top. Uh, so I'm guessing the bottom one, uh, accepts glasses and wide eyes. And the top one rejects glasses and wide eyes and then allows the other three. 
Uh, okay. I'm not sure if I explained it well, but um, I sort of see how it works. Say hi to Arno. Oh, yeah. What? No message? And snack and dinner and dessert, baby, would satisfy me. I'm really getting hungry. Mm. Candy. Maybe if I was professional, I wouldn't eat while I was talking, but oh well. So you can see there's three trolls now. Uh, who also tend to uh, have bad uh, table manners when it comes to food. But anyway, uh, Pizza Pass Level 3. Arno, Willa, and Shyler will let the Zoominis pass if you make a special pizza in Sunday for each of them. Each troll only likes toppings that the others dislike. For example, if Arno likes pepperoni, Willa and Shyler will not. Uh, if the pizza has a topping that the trolls hate, they'll throw it into the reject pit. They'll throw pizzas missing one or more of their favorite toppings onto their rocks. Try making one troll's pizza on Sunday first before starting on the next. Uh, make your pizzas be aware of what each troll likes and dislikes. The trolls are finicky eaters and they won't necessarily like the same pizzas next time you see them. So we actually have two changes. One, we have a third guy here. We have to make him a pizza. Uh, but just like before, uh, the trolls don't share the, the toppings that they like. And also cheese has been added back to the menu. So uh, this is one puzzle that doesn't really get that hard, even on harder difficulties. Uh, you can use basically the same strategy of one topping at a time. So that's what we'll do. Something on that I don't like. Something's wrong. I'd like more toppings, please. So because there's three of them and they don't share toppings, uh, each one will have fewer possible toppings, I'm guessing, on average. <laughs> so, oh, that was all he wanted. I'd appreciate more toppings. Uh-oh. There's something on that I don't want. Hmm. Is that all I get? Uh-oh. More toppings. Oh, something's wrong. So, so far, she likes cheese and meat. Maybe he's vegan or something. A vegan tree stump. More. Something's wrong. Okay, so now I know what they all want. So, she wanted the cherry, pepperoni, mushrooms, and cheese. Oh, wait, I don't actually know. Cherry... Pepperoni, mushrooms, and cheese. Oh, I do actually, because this was not enough, so he wants at least one more topping, and this is the only one left, so she has to like this one. Hmm, little pizza makers. And then this is what he wants. And we'll watch the meat this time. Have a pizza party. One, two, three. <laughs> hip hip zumbini. Hip hip zumbini. Okay. Well, we made it. Not quite a perfect run. Well done! You're adjusting to the trials of the journey. Rest up if you must. 
Push on if you dare. The Zumbinis still have much in store for them. Okay, so I'm going to stash these guys. So far I haven't made much use of this uh, shelter. But I won't be able to continue with less than a full load of Zumbinis, so... Uh, let's go ahead and go back and get another batch of them and hopefully not lose any this time. The adventure begins here. Free the Zumbinis! Okay, so these are the guys that got left behind uh, last time. Uh, so I need to have a full set of 16. Um, so let me take a look. So the guys who got left behind are all of the ones with sunglasses. The girls with glasses. So... What? What's this? You can't have sunglasses. Alright, so uh, we have to start again with a full set of 16. Assuming we don't lose any, uh, then when we get to the base camp, we'll have to decide who will stay and who will continue. Whether it be this group uh, in its entirety or whether we add some of the old group. But for now, we have Urhiga, uh, Japra, uh Tuknupo and Valfleda are the ones who got left behind, so we have to make sure they get across the allergic cliffs. After days toss. Okay, so let's start sending them across. Um, so let's see, these four here. Okay, uh, this one has the same eyes and feet. Let's see if that helps. Well, it looks like the sunglasses might matter. Okay, so they made it across. So I'm guessing the one on the bottom, uh, he might be allergic to sunglasses. Um, two different features that do not cause an allergic reaction. Uh, so he might be allergic to sunglasses. He might be allergic to these two hairstyles or to these two nose colors. Um... He's probably not allergic to feet because there's three different feet. Uh, so I'm guessing the feet uh, might not matter. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see if we have... Uh, here's a guy with sunglasses. So even having just sunglasses uh, seems to be enough. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so the bottom one is not allergic to sunglasses. That's interesting. Maybe the top one is allergic to springs? Okay, so that's not the case either. So this is where it gets interesting. So uh, sometimes it's easier to figure out what neither of them is allergic to. So neither of them is allergic to red noses. Uh, neither of them is allergic to springs. And neither of them is allergic to sunglasses. Uh, the top one is maybe allergic to orange noses, but I don't have any more of those. Uh, the top one might be allergic to cyclopses, but I don't have any more of those. Uh, the bottom one might be allergic to any hairstyle that's not the tuft. Uh, so let's see if he gets through. 
Okay, so all the other hairstyles are at the top, it looks like. Oh! So this one, I'm guessing it was the wide eyes that mattered. Okay, so the feet don't matter at all. You can see there's a mix on both sides. Um, orange, red, blue, purple nose, red, blue, green nose. So it looks like um, uh, eyes matter. So on top we've got sunglasses and regular glasses. Uh, the wide eyes go on the bottom. And not sure about sleepy eyes because uh, I haven't tried them in either place yet. Hmm. Okay, so feet don't matter. Because there's more than three feet type on each side. So I think that means they don't matter. Uh, there's more than three nose colors on each side. Uh, is there more than three eyes on each side? White eyes, sleepy, sunglasses, cyclops, sunglasses, um... And regular glasses. Then more than three hairs on each side. Yeah, I'm guessing this one is down here. Yeah, there is a sleepy eyes down there already. Oh, wait. Well, I made it across, but I'm not sure I figured it out. Two different features that do not cause an allergic reaction. So as long as the Zumbini has one of those two features, uh, the cave won't, uh, the cliff won't be allergic. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. So what are the two features? Um, so it could be the top one is you must either have sunglasses um, or you must have a uh, because so, sunglasses are all clustered up here. That does seem to be a pattern. So it could be the top cliff is saying either you have sunglasses or you have um, a blue nose. But these have blue noses, so then they should have gone up there. And it could be either you have sunglasses or you have a spring. But there's springs down here. Uh, there's a sleepy eye down here. Hmm. Maybe it's the other way around then. So maybe the bottom is... Uh, I wish I could arrange them on the other side. Uh, just to uh, see if I can work things out. Because the bottom would be either you have a spring or you have... Um, but then there's nothing that links all four of them. Oh, I think I figured it out. So the bottom one, um, the rule is either you have wide eyes. That's one of the features it accepts. So one, two, three, four, five. These have wide eyes. So either you have wide eyes or you have the tuft hair. Uh, that's what's going on here. And I'm not sure if the top one is um, actually has any rules like that or if it's just whatever the bottom one doesn't want. Um, the top, it looks like uh, it could be either you have sunglasses or you have a blue nose. But I don't know if the top ones actually share anything in common or if it's just whatever the bottom one didn't want. Um, but oh well, I'm sure I'll get plenty of practice you with this. You did it! You saved them all! These stones... I'm not a bunch. Oh boy. Where do they all come from? We come from Zumbini Isle. Come visit sometime, except uh, the bloats are there. Okay, uh, let's begin our testing carefully again. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Welcome. Now well, this one's very similar. <laughs> bye bye. So 
So he should be okay here. Sure. Because they only differ in one feature. Stick right up. All right. Uh, let's see. I could try this one here. I can't let you in. But I was kind of expecting at least one of them to reject. Hmm. Oh. One of the chosen. Few. So so far, it looks like tuft hair on bottom, ponytails on top. Or is it wide eyes on bottom, sunglasses on top? Uh, and you can see the train uh, is in all different categories. Let's see, what else can we try? I think I'm out of that. F no, I could try this one. Sorry. Certainly. Okay, so these feet are in every cave, so clearly the feet don't matter. Um, sunglasses are on top. Uh, red eyes, uh, sorry, red nose are on the right. All right. Uh, so feet don't matter. Uh, both ponytails and hats can go on top. This one has blue nose and sunglasses. So it should be okay up here. Proceed. So, so far we've done blue and red noses. So this is red nose. Uh, we already know the feet don't matter. Uh, but what about the eyes? So feet don't matter, red nose, same hair. Let's see what he says about the eye. Hello. Uh, so maybe the eyes don't matter. I haven't done this hairstyle yet. Uh, so if eyes don't matter, uh, then this one um, has the green hat, so should go on top, and blue nose goes on the left. I think this puzzle is actually easier than the allergic clip, partly because you get more guesses, uh, but partly because you have multiple sets of guardians. You can see um, them accept or reject uh, separately. Uh, I just feel like you get more information from your tests. Okay, so the propeller is on top, but we know feet doesn't matter. <sighs> we haven't tried this hair yet, so feet don't matter. Uh, Wide eyes are in three different caves. But the red nose probably needs to go on the right, and then I'm not sure about the hair. Not all doors are open to you. Okay, so it looks like shaggy hair at the top. Uh, but I don't have any more of those. Uh, now this one. I could put him through here, but uh, he will probably get rejected. But I'm not sure where else to put him. I could put him on top. That's where the propeller went. Uh, sleepy eyes, though, uh, went over here. So maybe this one? Nice try. Gonna get rejected? No? Oh yes. We must be selective about our clientele. I think they do go slower when they're going to go be on. rejected. Don't be shy. Okay, so it looks like tuft hair on the bottom, uh, purple nose on the right. Well, you're okay. Oh, wrong way. Okay, uh, we should theoretically be able to figure out the rule by now. Uh, so tuft hair on the bottom, and maybe the flat top on the bottom. Well, what, what does it matter? Uh, feet clearly don't matter. There's a mix on all sides. 
Uh, the wide eyes are in multiple different caves. The sleepy eyes are in different caves. The sunglasses are in different caves. Uh, so I think it's hair and nose that matters. Uh, so all the red and purple noses are on the right. All the blue noses are on the left. So this one, because he has a blue nose, he should go on the left. Uh, and with this hair, I'm guessing it goes on the bottom like the other Move one did. It. Have a good time. Yep, so it looks like flat topped and tuft hair on the bottom. So let's see. Uh, we have yellow and green. We haven't tried these nose colors yet. All the tuft hair goes on the bottom. <laughs> okay, and then the shaggy hair, the only other one I've had is at the top. I'm not sure where the green nose goes. So the left one accepts either blue noses or orange noses. I'm guessing. And the right one accepts red noses or purple noses. Not sure about the green one. Uh, the bottom one accepts flat hair and tufts. The top one accepts the other hair types. Let's see. <sighs> so bottom one accepts this hair and this hair and the top takes the rest. So one of these uh, sides will accept the green nose. Not that one. Well done, no wise and trusted guide. So this is one puzzle where you can finish it without being totally clear on what the rules were, um, just by sort of using your intuition. Uh, the allergic cliffs, uh, it's very hard to finish without actually figuring it out. I knew they could do it. Thanks. When it comes to these finicky eaters, one troll's poison is another troll's pizza. Flames? You're not flames. Food. You know, if we were fleens, wouldn't we be coming from the other direction? Oh well. Uh, so same as last time. So this is a puzzle where what you do is basically the same every time. Um, so that's part of what makes it easier. Oh, that was easy. Something's wrong. I'd like more toppings, please. I'm really getting hungry. I'd appreciate more toppings. Uh-oh. There's something on that I don't want. This would be so easy if I could just drag them over to the machine and say, point at what you want. You don't even have to use words. You don't have to know how the machine works. You don't know have to. You don't have to know what stuff's called. Is that all I get? Uh oh. I I don't know. Maybe they're blind or something, and they have to smell the food to know if they like it. There's something there I won't eat. It's still missing my favorites. Okay, so this should be the last uh, test I have to do. Hopefully. Maybe. More toppings! Oh, something's wrong. Well, I haven't tried the whipped cream yet, so I don't know if she likes it, or he likes it, or maybe neither of them like it. 
So I guess I should try that. That topping, not for me, thanks. More toppings, please. Okay, so we've got her pizza and his. So yeah, there's really no reason you should lose Zumbinis on this puzzle. Uh, the the next difficulty does get slightly harder, um, but even at the hardest, uh, it's not too tricky. All right, we made it through with everybody. Yay. And that means that uh, Zumbiniville should have a new building for us. It might be a while before we get everyone there to actually see it in person. to the trials of the journey. Rest up if you must. Push on if you dare. The Zumbinis still have much in store for them. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, uh, uh, these four, the girls with glasses, were part of this group originally until they were lost on the allergic cliffs. Uh, so that was the original group that set out from Zubini Isle. And now this group here um, is all the new ones, which obviously is only a partial set of new ones. Uh, but I'm going to let them stay behind a bit. And just stay in these little... Um, We'll call this a, uh, what do they have in Japan? The, the cubby hotels, capsule hotels. Um, so you guys can stay there. And then, uh, this is the original group. So we'll just take a little bit and get them lined up on the path. This may seem silly to worry about which Zuminis you're taking, and uh, normally if people worry about that, they actually look at the features of the Zuminis and figure how that's going to affect uh, the difficulty of the puzzles, so um, that would be what mattered, but I just want all of the Zuminis to be treated well on this journey. Uh, so that's the old group. Um, so. We'll have to, if we get a full group of 16 through next time, uh, some of them will have to stay behind so that these guys um, can be uh, added in. But uh, this episode turned out to be longer than I thought it would be already, so I think I will probably uh, wrap it up here. But uh, I do want to go to the map and check out uh, Zumbiniville, because there should be something new there. Uh, you can see my Zumbinis are now scattered across all the different camps. Uh, let's see, where's the new thing? There it is! Uh, this firehouse, a uh, firehouse made out of wood, that doesn't seem safe. Uh, it honors the Zumbinis who bested bridge watchers, crept cautiously past cave guards, and satiated Shiler, the pizza-loving troll, when traveling was very hard, September 26, 2023. And it was very hard. You see we've got our Zumbinis in the background there and there. And it's starting to... Uh, well, we don't have any more Zumbinis since last time. Um, but we do have a new building. Um, and... We have a long way to go yet uh, with our other batch of Zumbinis across some more new and dangerous trails. Uh, so next time, uh, I'll actually have a choice. It might be 
Uh, I could go back to Zubini Isle and come through this path again. Um, I could start with Shelter Rock um, and lead a group through. Uh, we would be going south uh, through the um, southern route, which I believe will actually turn into very hard. Or, or oh so hard. Sorry, oh so hard is the second difficulty. So uh, it'll be our first time doing the southern route on the second difficulty. That was a lot of numbers. And then uh, the Mountains of Despair, uh, we've already seen them uh, at their second difficulty or third. I I'm losing track. <laughs> Maybe two videos in one day was too much, uh, but it was fun. Um, it definitely went different from how I expected, so I hope that means that uh, it was interesting to watch. Uh, one thing I was kind of worried about is, you know, all these videos sort of seeming the same, but uh, this one definitely uh, did not turn out uh, how I expected. Um, and some puzzles, uh, it's sort of interesting to see which to turn out to be inherently more difficult uh, and which ones um, are more difficult at certain uh, difficulty levels. So I don't know why I went back to Zoomini Isle. It's just a nice place to end the video. So uh, again, thank you for watching uh, and we will see you next time.